War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened... Alright, move, move over! Shut up, old man! I'm driving! For years, Zack and Mike have explored the Mojave Wasteland, spreading the word and values of the NCR and defending the American spirit. Freedom. Capitalism. Shotguns. Whiskey. Basic human stupidity. But what if Mike had never met Zack? What if his exploration of the wasteland had taken a darker turn? Such postulations are pointless, for we have proof of these tribulations. This is the Mike Burnfire No No Bad playthrough. Can, can we come up with a better name for that? It, it just seems juvenile to me. You're the director, what do I know? I'm just a voiceover artist. Where can I pick up my, my paycheck? Sally in accounting? She'll have it? Okay. Alright, I'll, 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 just, I'll just be going then. Y y you'll contact me if you need any other work? Alright, excellent. Alright, I'll just be going. Can I keep the slippers? Uh, thank you. Good springs, huh? Looks like a dump! This is where the job is. Let's get it done. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Sunny Smiles, just the person I was looking for. I heard you know a lot about survival. I'm new in town, you see. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. By the way, let me introduce you to my companion. Her name's Maxine. She doesn't say much. I rescued her from a legion camp. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. I can do that, sure. Maxine, it's in your best interests to get out of my way. Thought you'd have learned that by now. Fine. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Ah, that's what makes you the expert, Sonny. They don't call you a pro for nothing. Nice shot. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Outside town? I think that's a good idea. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Oh, hopefully not too short. So how long you been in Good Springs, Sonny? 10, 20 years? Probably not 30 years. You don't look old enough to be here for 30 years. But I bet you've lived your entire life in this town. Probably looking to leave sometime, right? Must get lonely. You probably want to see the world, go on adventures. Yeah, getting cooped up here is no good for anybody. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. I like your tactics, Sonny. You're so smart. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. You're gonna judge me? Yeah, hopefully I impress you. Let's see if these creatures can survive a machete to the face. Oh, you beat me to it! Oh, Maxine. You don't always have to do my bidding. But, good initiative. Good initiative. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Oh, sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Yes, lead the way. Maxine, I'm gonna need you to take care of the dog while I handle this. Maxine, the dog! The dog! Do I have to do everything myself? No witnesses! Alright, you take care of the dog. I'll tie up Sonny. Got her. And the dog? You know, I almost thought it would kill you. But I'm glad we've gotten this task done. I need you to take her back to the base. You know what to do with her. And I'm gonna go handle some unfinished business. Joe Cobb, the first step of our plan is complete. Sonny's smiles is gone. 
leaving the town relatively defenseless. Good. We'll still need a plan before we rush the town. I don't want to embarrass myself and get beat by a bunch of townies. We ain't got much in the way of supplies. So if you could shake down the old doctor and the store owner for some stuff, we'd be in good shape. Once you're done with that stuff, or none of it, say the word and we'll make our move. Hey, if you ask me, anything worth doing is worth doing right. I'll be back once I've got those supplies. Yo, shopkeep! You looking to buy some supplies? Not so much buy as take from you forcibly. You're gonna give the Powder Gangers supplies. What? Why the hell would I want to do that? Because the alternative is me bludgeoning you to death. All right. I can give you some of my extra leather armor and spare ammo. Just don't hurt anybody if you don't have to, all right? Pleasure doing business with you. And now the doctor. Time to crank up the charisma to 11. <clears throat> You're the town doctor, are you? How are you holding up? I'm sorry, Doc. I don't have a whole lot of time to spare. There's an injured man down by the highway. I need medical supplies for him. Are you sure? What kind of injuries are we talking about? Lacerations? Avulsions? Might even be an amputation or two. All right, that does sound bad. Here, take these. It should be enough. Good luck. I'll make sure he gets the treatment he needs. Never gets old when something blows up. You got it. That armor is looking pretty nice on you. That leather armor is definitely better than the nothing you were wearing. Yes, that'll offer some decent damage resistance, mitigate some of the buckshot flying your way. It's a shame I didn't have enough sets of armor. But as the newest recruit, you're just going to have to make do. And yes, wearing your explosives around your chest is definitely a good idea that can in no way backfire. Is that a baseball bat? You eyeballing me? No, I'm eyeballing your baseball bat. You really think that's going to be a great weapon to bring into battle? Yeah, okay. We ready to move or what? First, take these medical supplies from the chump doctor. All right. We got all sorts of shit in here. Nice job. Better take some for yourself in case you get hit. Oh, I never use the stuff. Stim packs are really just a crutch. No, I use all natural medicines. But enough jawing. Let's take over the town, shall we? It's about time. I saw some of the townies gathering at the saloon, so we got a militia to take down. We get rid of them, and we own this place. Well, I was in town. Honestly, there weren't a whole lot of people in there to begin with, so if the entire town formed the militia, we're going to have a bunch of empty buildings on our hands. Getting out of town is definitely a good idea. Now, I've set you guys up for success. I hope you don't need me to get my hands dirty. You can probably handle this yourselves, right? No, probably not. Oh, look, here comes the bartender. She was on break. She's not happy you interrupted. She needs her after-lunch cigarette. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> hey, a little heads up next time. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know where you guys got all this dynamite, but I'm not complaining. Easy, Pete! More like easy to kill, Pete. Ha! True to the bartender? Yeah, the only bar she'll be tending is the one in hell, serving half off drinks to the devil. Powder ganger? More like. Oh, wait, that was one of ours. I told you a baseball bat sucks as a weapon! We've got people to kill. Keep an eye out. Yeah, I suppose we do have a loose end, don't we? Hello! Yeah, I didn't think you'd be amenable to the change in leadership. Oh. No hard feelings, Doc. You know, I think the only bad part about this plan is that none of these convicts knows how to mix a drink. I'm glad I didn't try to fight the gang. <laughs> that would have been a terrible idea. Damn, running low on smokes again. Well, you better head over to the general store. I think you'll find the shopkeep. It's very welcoming of our kind. Yo, I don't know your name. You want to shoot some pool to celebrate? Not, not interested? That's fine. Most of the pool balls are missing anyway. Never thought I'd ever have my own town. But thanks to you, now I do. If you want to make some caps, head on over to the correctional facility. Just tell them I sent you and you should get in without a problem. Keep a close eye on some of those bastards, though. 
Yes, I am a friend of the Powder Gangers. Go ahead and spread that around. In fact, I'm a friend of anybody who considers themselves an enemy of the NCR. But what's up next for you, Joe Cobb? I figure we'll hang around Good Springs for a while. Maybe get some of the other gangs to join up with us. Won't kill anybody else unless we have to. Just as long as people do what we tell them, they'll be all right. The strong rule in the weeks to come? I think I can see eye to eye with you on that. Welcome back, Maxie. Did you take care of that little issue we had? Of course you did. You're always so dutiful. That's what I love about you. Well, that's one town taken care of. And I don't know how many there are left to go. But I think if every mission goes as smooth as this, it's going to be a really easy time out here. Hey guys, check it out. <laughs> yeah, they know who you are, Sonny. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they're scared of you. Welcome to your new home at Cottonwood Cove. Don't worry, you're not going to stay here for very long. This is just where we hold the captures until we break them to become slaves. I don't know how long it's going to take to break you, though. I imagine it's going to take quite some time. <sighs> just let her run around and tire herself out. Eventually, she'll calm down. I'm right here. Oh, you got a, you got a hit on me. Ah, oh, it's okay. I like it when the women beat up on me. It tickles. <laughs> they always got so much energy when you first capture them. Always looking for a way out. Maybe I can dig underneath here, climb over the fence. Maybe I can seduce a guard. So many ideas running through that mind of yours. I wish I could hear them. You hired a bunch of mongrel profligates to take over a backwater nothing town. First of all, they hired me. And the only thing you have to show for it is just one capture? I would have brought more, but I think this one's going to be a handful for you. Yeah, I noticed she was out there just punching the fence repeatedly. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> did you, uh, did you hand out that literature I gave you? You mean the pamphlets? Yeah, the pamphlets. Yeah, I distributed them. Oh, okay. Into a crater. You're supposed to give them to people. That sounds like courier work. Do I look like a courier to were, you? Were people at least reading them? No, because they're in a crater. I spent like three hours writing those things. They're just full of, 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 of praises of Caesar and... Yeah, seemed like a waste of your time, but who am I to criticize? And you... I... <sighs> I live to serve. Anyway, until next time, I'll wait true to Kaiser. Yeah, true to Kaiser.